Thank you for choosing Language Dim Sum to be your partner in learning Chinese. All our courses are real-life scenario-based, designed and tailored-made to prepare you for communication, problem-solving, negotiation, and collaborations. The lesson is presented with the use of repetition, visuals, audio, to boost your memory and enhance learning. It is designed with the perspective to accommodate non-Chinese learners with pinyin, romanization, Chinese writing, and English. Language themselves. Welcome to a new way of learning Chinese. In our job seeking series, we will be looking at how to prepare for an interview for a Chinese corporate company. The scenario is you are either a new graduate or someone who has been in the market for a long time. You have identified a position in the Chinese company that you want to apply to. The competition is high. You want to make the best impression that would add value to your application so you can have a higher chance of getting the position. Let us help you. In our Language Dim Sum Job Seeking Series, we have 12 lessons, starting from the advice of what should you wear, to 11 common interview questions where you will learn how to answer them in Mandarin Chinese. These questions include self-introduction, educational background, strengths and weaknesses, salary requirements, future planning, and more. At the end of the series, you will develop fundamental Chinese communication skills to the level where you can conduct simple but valuable business conversations. What should I wear to an interview? 面试的时候, 我应该穿什么? 面试, interview, 的时候, the time? 我爱, 应该should, 穿为什么? What? 面试的时候, 我应该, 穿什么? 面试的时候, 我应该穿什么? What should I wear to an interview? Wearing the proper attire reflects the person's attitude, respect and professionalism in the workplace. As you may know, the Chinese business culture is influenced by Confucianism. The values of harmony, respect, Modesty and courtesy became the norm and practice in the workplace. Therefore, in relevant Chinese business settings, it is of utmost importance to dress formally, as by doing so, you are showing respect to your business contact and the event. Interview 面试 面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试面试
means want. So when you add the two of them together, you get don't want. 不要，不要 ，do not or don't want. Wear, 穿，穿，穿 ，wear. What? 什么？什么？什么 ？What? Best. 最好。最 means most. 好 ，good. Most good. 最好 ，you get best. 最好 ，best. Depending on how the sentence is used, the meaning can change into "it's best to do something" or "it's best not to do something." Formal attire or formal wear. 正装，正。装，正装 ，formal attire. The following session will be our sentences. Please note, all sentences will be spoken in the following order: English, normal speed Chinese, slow Chinese, a short pause, normal speed Chinese, and English. Please make use of the short pause so that you can repeat the Chinese sentence after us. You can constantly revise a video for better results. Are you ready? Let us begin. When it is time for the interview, 面试的时候，面试 interview 的。Apostrophe s, 时候 time. 面试的时候 when it is time for the interview. It is best to wear formal attire. 最好穿正装最好 in this case is it is. Best, 穿 wear, 正装 formal attire. 最好穿正装。最好穿正装。It is best to wear formal attire. Please wear formal attire to the interview. 面试的时候，请穿正装。面试的时候 ，when it is time for the interview， 请 please 穿正装 ，wear formal attire。面试的时候，请穿正装。面试的时候，请穿正装。Please wear formal attire to the interview. You should wear formal attire to the interview. 面试的时候，你应该穿正装。面试的时候，你 you。应该 should 穿正装 wear formal attire. 面试的时候，你应该穿正装。面试的时候，你应该穿正装。You should wear formal attire to the interview.
please do not wear casual or please do not wear casual attire or casual wear. 请不要穿休闲装。请 please 不要 do not or don't want 穿 wear 休闲装。休闲 casual 装 attire。请不要穿休闲装。请不要穿休闲装。Please do not wear casual. Please do not wear T-shirts. 请不要穿 T 恤。请。Please, 不要 do not 穿 wear T 恤 T-shirt. 请不要穿 T 恤。请不要穿 T 恤。Please do not wear T-shirt. It is best not to wear jeans. 最好不要穿牛仔裤。最好不要。It is best not to 穿 wear 牛仔裤 jeans。最好不要穿牛仔。裤，最好不要穿牛仔裤。It is best not to wear jeans. It is best not to wear open-toe shoes. 最好不要穿露趾鞋。最好不要。It is best not to. 穿 wear 露趾鞋 open toe shoes 露趾鞋最好不要穿露趾鞋，最好不要穿露趾鞋。It is best Not to wear open-toe shoes. Assessment A. Listen to the following words and translate them into Chinese. Pause the video and answer the questions before you proceed to the next one. Are you ready? Let us begin. Question one: Should. Should. Yin gai. Yin gai. Yin gai. Should. Question two: Where. Where? Chuan, Chuan, Chuan. Where? Question three: Do not or don't want. Do not or don't want. Don't want. Don't want. Do not or don't want. Question four. Please. 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 
请，请，请 ，please. Question five: Formal attire. Formal attire. Formal attire. Formal attire. Formal attire. Formal attire. How did it go? It feels good that you are getting better and better, right? If you got less than three, no worries. Practice makes perfect. Please revise our lesson videos before you proceed. If you got five out of five, we are so happy for you. This proves that you are really studying very hard, and you can see the progress. Now, let's move on to the exciting part. Assessment B. Listen to the following sentences and translate them into Chinese. Pause the video and answer the questions before you proceed to the next one. Are you ready? Let us begin. Question six. It is best to wear formal attire. It is best to wear formal attire. 最好穿正装。最好穿正装。最好穿正装。It is best to wear formal attire. Question seven. Please do not wear casual. Please do not wear casual. 请不要穿休闲装。请不要穿休闲装。请不要穿休闲装。Please do not wear casual. Question eight. Please do not wear T-shirt. Please do not wear T-shirt. 不要穿 T 恤，请不要穿 T 恤，请不要穿 T 恤。Please do not wear T-shirt. Question nine. It is best not to wear jeans. It is best not to wear jeans. 最好不要穿牛仔裤。最好不要穿牛仔裤。最好不要穿牛仔裤。It is best not to wear jeans. Question ten. Please wear formal attire to the interview. Please wear formal attire to the interview. 面试的时候，请穿正装。面试的时候，请穿正装。面试的时候。请穿正装。Please wear formal attire to the interview. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. We hope that you have enjoyed our lesson and have learned something from it. In our upcoming lessons, we will be looking at eleven different powerful interview questions and how to answer them in Mandarin Chinese. 
Stay tuned. Coming up next, please introduce yourself.